channel creating wealth before we start today's audio i would request you to subscribe to our channel if you have not done click on the like button and share this video with the friends and your peers if you feel this will be helpful to them thank you the elephant starts to march to the new drum tracking the recovery of the market was not easy after 2000 the market was dull for 2 years and that was the time most fund managers used to find some of the best stocks in the market the non banking financial companies hdfc decided to take its chance and launch hdfc mutual fund when the market was at its best avatar the mutual fund was launched after the hole in the dot com business became visible to the investors It was the time when the market became aware of the technology companies and may not have the growth potential as projected earlier. The good part about this exercise was that this was the first NAV of the HDFC's equity fund came out in September 2000 by which time the dot com led boom had already collapsed. Sanjay Bhattacharya the chief investment officer CIO at HDFC was caught in the backwaters of whatever remained in the broken market somewhere he thought that his entire burst was temporary and the rally would be back in december 2000 a newsletter of HDFC mutual fund deserves a special mention here the year gone by has been rough ride for equity investors with very few safe havens coming off the back of the spectacular appreciation in the tech stock in 1999 it is easy to suggest with the benefit of the hindsight that humpty dumpty may have been a little bit unsteady atop his perch what is particularly galling is that the market did not seem to discriminate between the good the bad and the ugly none of the blue chip companies were also spared from this in this in its current mood dalal street seems absolutely certain that the end of the world is near yet just a year ago growth was all the rage well heeled analysts were busy coming up with new metrics of value growth even though the corresponding cash flows may not have been quite as impressive in march 2000 the most conservative equity strategies recommended a 30% allocation to the tech stock in a diversified portfolio most others were considerably more exorbitant today it is difficult to find a man who can argue the case of taking a significant bet on a high quality it stock so what has gone wrong with the market since the newsletter ended with a more optimistic note saying that out of this carnage the good stock would eventually rise above the bad times the idea was to remain optimistic during the tech boom promoters were optimistic to a degree that was not justified by the date or by the history it was based on the feel good factor they felt that what was happening in the us market would happen in the india market too but that logic did not apply to the software stock companies like ssi software solution integrated a, so- a software education company saw a price fall from rupees 7000 to 70 in 2 years in march 2000 to march 2008 the return of infosys was lower than the- that of a fixed deposit and at around 4% but it- by 2016 the same figure stood at 10% but none of the fund managers could have predicted that they could have trapped with infosys for so long some fund managers were trying to blindly ape the big guns in the business since the smartest guy in the business continued to believe in the sustainability of the market other fund managers did not believe to feel the need to question it bharat shah and arora had spotted the fortune of the it sector but even they were not able to determine the end of the rally they continued to remain invested in the stock even as the nav of their funds keep falling in on 25th august 2004 a landmark development occurred in the indian stock market 
Tata Consultancy Services (TCS) was one of the oldest Indian software companies. It went in for listing. Despite the fact that the software companies had lost out on a lot of market capitalization, TCS' own reputation for promoters' competency had hit rock bottom. The company was being looked at favorably. After almost four years, professional investors were once again hopeful of the software industry. The stock was listed at rupees one thousand seventy six one zero seven six, and was and has returned say nineteen percent on an annual basis over the last twelve years. As on eleventh August two thousand seventeen, the stock traded at rupees two thousand four hundred and ninety four, with a total market capitalization of four point seven seven lakh crore rupees. Over the last ten years, TCS has turned around to be the clear winner in terms of the size and returns. While a few companies like Wipro had lost the market capitalization, but it is HCL Technology Limited that has given the highest return in the IT space since two thousand four. The stock went up by eleven times over the last thirteen years. That is two thousand four to two thousand seventeen. In the last ten years, the stock has gone up by eighteen percent annually, as compared to sixteen percent for TCS. In August two thousand seventeen, HCL had a market capitalization of one point two two lakh crore rupees. The stock prices of all the companies were on the basis of hundred in August two thousand four, so that we can do a clear comparison. It's shown on the graph. The value of the stock differs from each other. Hence, to compare them, we need to align them to the same base value, which is normally taken as hundred. In the graph, August two thousand is hundred. All these companies now start at the same point. In August two thousand sixteen, HCL and TCS price moved fastest, and they have been in the movement for the trend of this share price. The advent of TCS got other co software companies back into limelight. The Nifty Fifty was up by thirty-eight percent during two thousand four to two thousand seven. The IT index returned thirty percent during the same time, but the most of the stock was still underperforming. We will continue with the story of the tortoise and in the next chapter. Thank you.